Hello from the Centre for the Studies of Asphyxia and Resuscitation, CESA. Today we would like to share our recently published article in Children, comparing different finger positions for chest compressions during neonatal CPR. We would like to thank the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Canada for funding the study. The current recommended practice for delivering chest compressions during neonatal CPR is with the two thumb encircling technique. Other hand and finger positions have been described such as the two finger technique, over the head two thumb technique and the knocking fingers technique. However, most have only been examined in mannequin studies and have not been examined in detail in an animal model. This study compared the hemodynamic changes between four different finger positions during neonatal CPR. This was investigated using our established post-transitional piglet model of asphyxia-induced cardiac arrest. What did the study find? Using the two-thumb technique or the over-the-head two-thumb technique during neonatal CPR produced more favourable hemodynamic outcomes. Specifically, improved slope rise of carotid blood flow and improved left ventricle contractile function. But also check the lower stroke volume with the two-fingered technique compared to the other techniques we tested might not be the best to use. In conclusion, our study reported improved slope rise of carotid blood flow and left ventricle contractile function during neonatal CPR with the two-thumb or over-the-head two-thumb techniques. Thank you. Please follow us on Twitter or YouTube or visit our website for more.